Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Not much movement in temperatures tonight, just staying in the 50s. We'll see rain this evening. It'll tend to taper off by 11 o'clock. A little break in the precip late this evening and into the early morning hours. And then the rain returns late tonight, and that could be heavy at times tomorrow morning. Even the chance of some thunder with upper 50s at noon. And then turning sharply colder in the afternoon down to 47 by 5 o'clock and even dropping into the 30s tomorrow evening. We may get a little break in the rain for a while tomorrow afternoon, but more showers expected late day. And those could even uh, switch over to some snow. So your weather headlines, a wet Halloween on the way, windy and turning colder in the afternoon. And for the trick-or-treaters, we are expecting to see those temperature readings uh, as we get to the afternoon hours, uh, uh, showing up in the 40s and then dropping to around 40 or into the upper 30s by evening. Rain to snow showers before ending late night and freezing temperatures expected Friday through Monday morning for the overnight lows. Tonight that won't be the case, only dropping down to about 52 degrees, but tomorrow 58, that'll be a morning high with temperatures falling as we get to the afternoon. And then Friday morning, low temperatures down below that freezing mark hitting the upper 20s. Your first freeze potential for Friday morning. We have a freeze watch in effect for the area and that should bring an end to our growing season. That'll probably be a freeze warning come tomorrow. And the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera, cloud cover and wet conditions out there on I-75 for the evening commute with the rain coming down, still falling at a light to moderate rate, on, rate over much of the Miami Valley. You can see that rain coming down Troy through Dayton, some of the heavier rain southwest Montgomery County, lighter showers Xenia up to Springfield, picking up some moderate rain showers too in the vicinity of our canum extending over toward Pleasant Hill. Rain coming up from the southwest, the back edge now east of Interstate 65 and moving northeast of Louisville. So later this evening we get in on that break, but already more rain developing southwest of there with a developing low pressure center and that'll bring us the windy conditions for tomorrow. Right now in Dayton we have a temperature of 56 degrees, just light variable winds out there, 93% the relative humidity. Up north, upper 40s and low 50s down south. You can see the mid to upper 50s on the weather map, about a 10 degree temperature spread. There's a break in the rain early tonight. Here comes more rain late tonight, tomorrow morning. And notice some blue on the map, some snow to the west out in Illinois, up into Michigan. Wrap around moisture will move into the area tomorrow evening. So some of those rain showers we'll have in the evening could go over to some snow showers before ending. There's even the potential for a light dusting of snow up in the northern part of the Miami Valley, mainly north of US 36. And then we'll have those freezing temperatures and a lot of sunshine on Friday. Cloudy skies tonight, showers down to 52 degrees, light and variable winds. Sunset uh, this evening at 637, just about 20 minutes from now. Rain heavy at times tomorrow morning, windy and turning colder in the afternoon, 58 the high with temperatures dropping into the 40s during the afternoon. Winds pick up to 15 to 30 miles per hour, gusting 35 to 40 by late afternoon and evening. Upper 50s at noon, 56, 2 p.m., down to 43 at 6 o'clock. And then the rain to snow showers Thursday night before ending. Dry weather Friday, 28 in the morning. High temperature 46, up to 45 on Saturday. Once again, down to 30 and below freezing in the morning. And then upper 20 Sunday, mostly sunny, high 46. 56 on Monday as temperatures moderate with the rain chances coming back Tuesday and Wednesday. So another soaker coming our way tomorrow.